Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another quick climate fact check. In this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of what causes ocean temperatures to change and whether or not their rate of warming is alarming. The oceans take up about 71% of Earth's surface, and this massive amount of water plays a dominant role in regulating the planet's temperature. Recently, climate alarmists in the news have been claiming that global ocean temperatures have increased dangerously and dramatically due to human-caused climate change, citing temperature records taken in 2023. While it's true that average ocean temperatures have increased since 1880, the change has been very gradual, only about 0.7 degrees Celsius, or 1.26 degrees Fahrenheit, compared to the late 19th century average. Interestingly, this gradual rise started around the same time that a period of global cooling known as the Little Ice Age ended. This indicates that there is some degree of natural rebound at work here. You would expect temperatures to rise after a historic cool period ends. Another natural heat boosting mechanism in our oceans are what are called El Nino events in the Pacific, which causes measurable ocean temperature spikes that can linger after the event itself has already ended. The Super El Nino of 1997 and 1998, for example, caused world ocean temperatures to rise, but in the Pacific it was especially notable, spiking an average of 2 to 4 degrees Celsius above normal. That natural warming event caused a noticeable step up in the global average temperature baseline. Another Super El Nino that happened in 2015 likewise contributed to overall warming. The heat from those events dissipates very slowly, but it does dissipate. And in 2023, guess what happened? That's right, another El Nino event, which contributed to 2023 seeing some of the highest global average temperatures on recent record. Human emissions of CO2 are causing little, if any, ocean warming. Any impact we could be having is positively dwarfed by the natural conditions that have always existed. And rather than ocean temperatures being driven higher by warmer surface air temperatures, the oceans are much more likely to be contributing to air temperature averages. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as references in this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.